Tuesday the 30th of May, it's day 24. 24. We're at Marylebone. Marylebone? Marylebone. To the Chilterns? To the Chilterns! Let's do it. Chilton. We're here at Marlebone. We'll go all the way up to Aylesbury, down to Gerrard's Cross, we'll then head north again. Uh, we'll go and do Bista, come down to Oxford, and then get the new Oxford back to London Marylebone via Islip service. Back down to Gerrard's Cross, and then a stopping train that picks up the Orchard stations, Suffrey Hill Harrow and Suffrey and Harrow Road, back to Marylebone. That's our day. <laughs> slightly weird because we're in tube territory. London Underground, very familiar to me. So whenever I'm on the tube line, but on a children train, I always find that a bit, a bit weird. We made it to Aylesbury Vale Parkway. A little bit early. Sure I'm on the trains on time, I like Chilton. My friend Steve is here. Hey Steve. Hello. Do you want to interview Steve? You can interview Steve. Vic is going to interview Steve. Uh, Steve. Hi. You are an Aylesbury local. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about living in Aylesbury, living in the Chilterns. To be honest, because Aylesbury is at the end of a kind of almost branch line, it's very easy for uh, commuters to get in and out. You have your bike with you today, and we saw quite a few people on the way up as well with bikes. Is it quite common to see lots of cyclists on this line? There are restrictions on bikes during peak hours, but you get quite a lot of people who will leave their bikes at kind of uh, the station in London and then just do the last couple of miles commute on bike. I chose to come by bike today just because there's uh, quite a lot of good cycleways near Aylesbury Vale Parkway station. What else is there in Aylesbury? What are the wonders of the Chilterns? <laughs> Aylesbury itself is a fairly unremarkable market town, but the uh, the Chilterns themselves are absolutely gorgeous. Plenty of walking and cycling, loads of hills, it's a lovely part of the country, outstanding area of natural beauty. We're about to change trains. Um, you also alight here at Aylesbury if you're going to Stoke Mandeville Hospital, which is where the Paralympic Games first started. So it's very apt that at the moment Aylesbury Station is undergoing a lot of uh, renovation work. They're putting in lots more step-free access here as well, lots of investment from Network Rail. Next station is Mantisborough. Little Kimball. Least you station. No one got on. No one got off. The next station is Thornton. Where's Tesco's? Where's Tesco's? What happened at Gerard's Cop for Tesco's? So, I think it was several years ago now that the, they were building the new Tesco's and the tunnel that we can see just ahead of us um, collapsed, which caused a lot of disruption. I had a friend who lives in the area who I remember saying it, it was almost impossible for him to get into London and we were wondering if if that story was true had we made that story up did the Tesco's exist did it not exist and I mean you can't fail to notice the Tesco's as soon as you get off the train family and the church has this gold ball on top of it which was added by Sir Francis 
Dashwood and it said that his friend, John Norris, who lived not too far away, had a similar golden ball put on top of a, a, a building near him and that they used to message each other using refractions of the light. Legend, perhaps. The next station is Vista North. Banbury. And now we're at King Sutton. That's our taxi that just left here. We thought we'd come here rather than wait at Banbury because it's a least used station, or lesser used. Uh, there's a permit to travel, and Vic is currently doing a Facebook Live. I might do a periscope. Hayford Station appears to be right by the Grand Union Canal. So we're coming into Oxford and just on that thing where he's been talking to random strangers on the internet and he's arranged for me to meet with um, who we're meeting? I think it's Cece. So I'm meeting Cece. And she's going to show you the sights of, of Oxford. And, and hopefully, some Harry Potter locations. That's amazing. <laughs> nice to meet you. And you. Hi. So, so Cece, two things. One, yeah. what's your real name? Because we just call you Cece. I go by Cece. My real name's Catherine. Well, clearly, you're not English. And where are you from? I'm from California originally. <laughs> Our first American, and we've literally oh, got. Really? We've really, literally got exactly one hour. Yep. yep. So you're going to give us a whistle-stop tour yep. of everything Oxford in one hour. I'm going to do, do you, my best. Do you yes. accept this challenge? I do. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> The Divinity School. We've been here before, yeah. And then we're gonna go down St. Michael Street. Yeah. All the, you know, the, the glam shots of Oxford are gonna start after we turn right and left. Ow! <laughs> I'm impressed. No. Here we go. So it's on the camera because it's round. So this is Cromwell, right? Yeah. So there they are in the in the library. Is he Ron sitting on a desk? Obviously it's a model of the Venice size. So St. Helens Passage. I know. Apparently uh, Emma Watson has drunk here. <laughs> The building behind it is called the Clarendon. That was Oxford University Press originally. So that was our whistle stop tour. Hi, Cece, thank you so much. Thank you, Cece. You're so welcome. We need to come back and spend more than an hour in Oxford one day. That's yeah. what I come to Oxford. Just over the Oxford. It's 1638. Yeah. The lines have now reopened, so it's now only a matter of time. So it will come through? It will get here, yeah, we'll have trains. The next direct one, 1737. So now. if we just wait on platform one, it will eventually arrive. Eventually. Do they know where it is right now? Uh, honestly, not a clue. Right? You do your thing, I'll check on open train time. Right. We're at Oxford, it's, uh, it's 1641. We should have left two minutes ago. Thanks to CC for giving us a whistle stop tour. The irony is, we were like, we've got to get back. Our train's at 1639. It's not. Uh, the lovely platform staff at this GG Rail station is telling us there's been an incident. The police are investigating at High Wycombe. The train is currently not there. We need to get that particular train to stop at Islip Station. So I'm going to put the call in to Mission Control. Uh, Dave is on the phone today. Thanks, Dave. Uh, and we'll do some chatting. We'll work out uh, our next manoeuvre. I was hoping that might be our train approaching. It's not. Um, ironically, what I was going to say <laughs> is that there's a brand new Chiltern service last year, or was it two years ago? Recently, a brand new service was started by Chiltern, and you can now uh, go from Marleybone uh, to Oxford, uh, I think in exactly the same amount of time that you can from Paddington to Oxford. But due to an incident, it's been cancelled, and I'm looking at the board, and it's saying that even the next one, the 1723, is delayed, so I don't know what's going to happen. Amusingly, CC that rushed us around Oxford in an hour has come back. <laughs> oh, hello! I think. 
Yeah, as an American, even you can understand this now. It's yeah. time to go and get a cup of tea, isn't it? That's, yes. That's that's what we do. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Chilton have these orchestra stations called Denham and Harrow and Subby Road, but we've just realised that south of Oxford there's a station called Ackleford. And that actually, if we just abandon Chilton, sorry Chilton, and we switch to GWR, David, you're saying that we can get that service down and that will stop at Appleford, Appleford, but it won't stop at Cullum, is that correct? We can tick off Radley and Appleford and then all stations to Paddington, wherever that stop. At Reading, do we switch to a fast to Paddington or, or... Let's go slow all the way into Paddington and then we'll just tick those all off and that will save us time on Thames Valley Day. We have a plan. <laughs> uh, so we're at Oxford, we're signing off. <laughs> We'll stop at some stations on the way back. Here's some shots of stations we stopped on the way back. Two things. Oh yeah. One, all the pedants in the comments right now are going, Jeff, it's Tesco. There's no S, it's Tesco. It's not Tesco, it's Tesco. Somebody will write that. What did I say? Tesco's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Secondly, uh, we know where we're gonna get our sandwich for lunch. <laughs> I probably shouldn't call Sainsbury's Sainsburgers. Don't call Sainsbury's Sainsburgers, yeah.